Hey there everyone, Taish here, back again with another video. And in this video, I want to give you something magical. Something that is going to forever change that how you prepare for the interviews. It doesn't matter in what language you are preparing, maybe JavaScript, maybe C++, maybe Java, maybe something else. It is so amazing of a tool, it's absolutely free and it will forever change that how you prepare for interview. But first, let me give you some context. Now, as a developer, it's not just about writing your code and debugging it. A lot of time you work with the team and you really want to understand what other pe person has written and what the other people's code is actually saying and how to understand it. One such use case is actually lead code. Whenever there is an interview ahead, we always go back onto lead code and try to solve the problem. Majority of the crowd who are seasoned developer, they will solve their, uh, these problems on their own. But there are enough of the crowd who are just getting started, who are beginners and who wants to understand the different side of writing the code. They have solved the code on their own, but they also head to the discussion section to check out that what other people are writing. And let me be honest, sometimes it's not easy to understand what other people are writing in their code. Now, there is an easy way to understand it, and this will forever change that how you prepare for your interviews. There are tons of other use cases, but I found this one really, really interesting. Let me walk you through with such one such example, and you'll be saying, oh, is it that easy? Yes, let me walk you through. So in case you are not aware of this, let me first take you on to my screen. So this is the lead code, our every favorites. And uh, the one software that I'm actually using is first, let me go on to Google and try to give it to you. So this is pieces for developers. This is the one tool. It is absolutely free. It's available for Mac, Windows, Linux. So free, available everywhere. You, you get it. it. It's available for a lot of places. Oh, I'm 250, 150% zoom. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. All right, so as you can see, that there is so much of the things that is going on, uh, all of that. They rolled out a new feature, which just got updated. Again, totally free, absolutely free for everyone. Now let me walk you through. I have already installed this software on my system. I'm using it every single day. This is now my productivity hack. Yes, this is taking in the places where I was saving all of my snippets on Notion and something, but I'm using this one. So if I launch this one, this is how it looks like. You can just set up. I've already set it up and I'm using it for a lot of clouds and everything. It's, it's pretty fantastic. Try this out. But let me tell you one such use case. So go ahead and click on this. And with the update, you'll find Copilot and Global Search. And this Copilot is actually way different than the what you are used to. So just click on it. Hey, this is the world of AI. So I actually used it for one of such use cases. So I'll just clear the chat because yeah, obviously I'll, if I'll not see, how will I tell you? So just go back onto lead code, pick up any problem, any problem that you like. Let's choose the zigzag conversion. It's a fairly asked problem. It's being asked a lot in a lot of interviews. It's a medium level problem and it's a pretty easy to understand problem as well. So if you go and take a look onto this one, so it says, hey, this is the string which says uh, PayPal is hiring. A uh, very common interview question for PayPal. And they give you that, hey, how much the length of this uh, zigzag pattern should be? And then it comes on to the vertical pattern. So P-A-Y-P-A-L. So PayPal is hiring. So this is written in that way. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of ways how you can attempt this problem in C++, in JavaScript, whatever you like. But one thing that we all do, and <laughs> there is no shame in that, is go on to, not solution actually. Uh, yeah, the solutions, but actually there is... Uh, Description, there should be, oh, where is it? The discussion, yeah, here it is, the discussion. They have moved it at the bottom. So just move on to the discussion and there's, there we go. We can see a lot of discussion that is happening around a lot of things. So what I want is, I want to actually check that how the discussion is happening and what people are actually seeing around it. They've changed the UI a little bit. So I'll just go back onto the discussion and I would like to filter uh, it with some code. So I'll just say, hey, let me just go ahead and remove this. And I would like to check, ah, they have moved it a lot. Where is the discussion section? Are there solutions available? Yeah, there are solutions available as well. What I want is just want to see some code. So as you can see, this is the code part, got it, everything. So you can see there is a code uh, in C++. Uh, there, I'm pretty sure there are codes in other languages as well, but hey, let's just pick up any of the language. And is there any code available for JavaScript as well? That's what I'm looking up for. Yep, here is the JavaScript. And there we go. A lot of examples are here. Just pick any. They are explaining it nicely. But I want to see directly that what this is. Uh, all you have to do is, again, go back to the favorite thing. Hey, just take a screenshot of this. I want this code. Right now, I have no idea what this code is doing. 
So click on this and then open up your pieces. Let me go ahead and launch pieces. I'll just take my screenshot and we'll drag and drop here. That's all you have to do. Drag and drop this and this is going to start analyzing this. But I would, I would love to run my query. So I'll write this. Hey, can you please, and did I wrote you wrong? Can you please, and you have to say please. It's the AI world, we don't want to offend any AI, so you need to write please, that's compulsion. So hey, can you please explain me this code? Not only that, and also please write comments for better understanding. Oops, what did I wrote there? <laughs> better understanding. All right, so let's go there. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, this is going to analyze the code and obviously sometimes it takes a few seconds. You have to be patient. That's the most important thing. That's a trait of programmer. So let's just wait for a couple of seconds till the time. It says hang tight. I'll, I'll do that. And I'll not skip the video. I'll not fast forward the video. I want you to see the raw impact that how this actually works. On some of the problem, it's really super blazing fast on some of them. Now notice here, uh, here's a brief on the approach. If the number of the rows is one, we don't need to zigzag conversion and can return the input string as it is. If we, we calculate the length of the cycle of element position in the zigzag pattern for each row, then we loop over each row in the zigzag pattern and for each row. So there is a step-by-step -step algorithm, uh, not, al yeah, it is algorithm, or you can say pseudocode is given to you. Not only that, it has converted this piece of code into a line by line definition. How cool is this? So notice here, it says, hey, this is a definition of function which accepts a string and a number. And notice here, let uh, result is there. So initializing an empty string to store the final result. If you cannot understand from this, I don't know from where you can understand. Step by step, line by line code, even no tutorial gives you this much of this. So notice here, this is what we have. Get the length of input array, calculate the length of the zigzag cycle for each row. Every single thing is given to you. Wow, this is uh, one of my favorite things. Not only that, I can just simply go ahead and say, hey, this looks good, so go ahead and save this. So this is going to summarize this and this is going to save it in my pieces. So next time, if I have to prepare for an interview, this is always available for me and I don't have to do this thing again. I'll go back and I'll show you that, hey, uh, uh, I'm actually more comfortable in list view. So we can see the zigzag conversation. Here it is, here it is. And if you wish more, you can just add the description as well in the in the description section that, hey, this was my pseudocode, so I want to have it. Let's give it one more try because I would love to see uh, more onto this one. So let's pick another problem here. And th in the discussion section and submission section, people actually uh, give you a lot of code which you can understand, write all of this. So uh, how much back we need to go? Here we go. Okay, uh, let's pick up a couple of other problems which are easy. So add to number, <laughs> no, we're not gonna go with that. Longest substring, this is one of the most common, most solved problem, a lot of people ask that. Uh, there is a given the string and substring replacing character and stuff like that. So there's a lot of, so here's a solution. I want, again, Java this time. You wanna see Java or C++? Let's go with C++. It doesn't really matter, it understands everything. Not just, I love JavaScript, so that's why I use that. So uh, let's just say hash set use in Java, explained approach. I don't need explain. Best C++ fast solution. Yeah, give me that. So here we go. We have got this entire thing. This is already written with the nice. Uh, so I'll not use this one. I need something which is not this much easy. Uh, let's go. And somebody might have written this. Ah, no, I don't want code there. I want code right here. Simple C++ solution. Yeah, this is perfect example. No idea what the code is doing. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and say, hey, I'll take a screenshot. Uh, this much is enough. Let's go back and try to move it up here. So, oh, my bad. I need to actually first change it to Copilot. And once I'm on to Copilot, let me go ahead and trab, grab my screenshot. And I'll just drag and drop this one. And it's say, hey, what's going on here? Uh, again, let's give it uh, something. Uh, Directly, please, please an important keyword. Okay, got it. Please help me to understand this code and add comments and summary to this code. I think that's enough to understand the speed of code, this piece of code, and let's see what's going on in there. All right, all right, not bad. 
It's, I'm not gonna speed up this, so, oh, change is made. Uh, so there we go. So here's the corrected code. Here is the content from the image below. Okay, here's the corrected code. Oh, that's nice. So it's even just converting this. Uh, can I can I actually give him a little bit more? So let's just say this is something that we actually uh, used uh, inside this. So I'll just copy this and I'll just say, hey, this is my piece of code. And I'll just say, uh, let's just say we are going to, hey, right now there is one already, this is processing. Uh, so probably we can, we can clear this. Ah, so it is nice that it is actually doing a lot of the understanding code. If the code is wrong, it's trying to fix this as well. Ah, that's, that's, that's nice. Okay, all right, let's try to do, uh, do one more thing. So I'll just actually come back here. And first, let's go to the list view again. And let's go to the copilot. Oh, where is copilot? Copilot. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to start it again. So I'll just paste this code. Oh, my bad. I'll just say, hey, I want to add one more snippet here. So let me just go ahead and drag and drop this snippet. All right, so this is extracting the snippet again. Oh, my bad, I pasted it. Again, restarting the things and let's see what's happening. First, let's it analyze again, doing it one more time. This is fantastic. And what we are going to try now is, can we actually convert this piece of code in JavaScript? All right, so that would be cool. And notice here, it says, here's the content from the image below and it's also correcting it. Looks like this image is, how it is detecting that if it is code is correct or not. What is this code for? You tell me. Let's see what we got here. All right, right now it has no idea what this code is doing. All right, we are checking it onto the boundaries. This code is for finding the length of the longest substring without repeating character. It understands it. It understands the context. And here comes the big banger. Can you convert this code in JavaScript? Because I understand JavaScript more. JavaScript, or maybe you understand C more, C++. And this is the testing time. <laughs> I'm testing it on to its extreme length that how much can we push it beyond the boundaries. When we push it beyond the boundaries, if it is good, you see live. If it is not good, you see live. So let's see how good it is. Oh, goodness. I like this. Sure, here's the code in JavaScript. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Ah, let's give it a test. Uh, can you convert this code in Python? Yeah, one more. Why not? Why not? All right, let's check. I'm having just fun with this. All right, let's see. All right, take your time, take your time, no hurries. See, if this actually works nicely, you don't need to buy 10 different courses who are teaching you DSA or anything like that or solving lead code problem in different languages. You can just learn and understand even the pseudo code of it or just in one language, come here in the pieces. It's absolutely a free tool. Just drag and drop this and you can do it absolutely for free in your favorite language. And let's see, uh, write comments to under uh, understand this Python code. Can you do that for me? Oh, I forgot to write please. <laughs> I should be writing a please. Let's see if now this, uh, this can actually turn this up into a code base which has comments, nice comments. I want nice comments. Still working, hang tight. I would, it would be really cool if this message actually changes. Uh, if, oh man, <laughs> if somebody cannot understand this piece of code, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, notice here, loop through the string, add character to the frequency map and update its count. All right, if the length of the frequency map is equal uh, to the length of current substring and then update the length. Oh, goodness, man. Ah, oh, goodness. What brilliance this is and what more you want. No chat GPT, nothing. It's right built in. And all you have to do is just, and let me save this as well. And that's it. All you have to do is go from list view to copilot and go, go by search. I think this is a game changer plugin not plug in, this is a feature directly in there, so. Oh man, good, this is good. All right, so if you have any more such problem, go ahead, download pieces for developers, have some fun around it, 
and simply take any problem that you like uh, from the problem list. What do you want to solve? What do you want to understand? And I think you can crack down any interview if you solve just a, just a few good 50, 60 problem. What you need to do is, uh, you don't need to actually go through with a thousand different problems. All you need to do is just go ahead with the enough problem and, and have a deep understanding of the problem. And this is what this tool is going to help you to crack down your next interview. Take any problem, understand the problem, what people are solving in their best approach. Try to understand that. Once you understand that, you don't need to change your language. You can learn uh, this DSA or the problem solving in Python, C++, Java, JavaScript, whatever the language you're comfortable with. I think pieces will pay a lot, lot of help in not only just understanding the code, but actually keeping those codes safe so that next time when there is an interview switch or there's another interview that you want to go, you can keep them safe uh, somewhere so that you don't have to dig up the internet every single time. Keep the common problems always in your snippets. That's always a good idea. That's a productivity hack. And of course, why not to do it when this software is absolutely free to use and it's a cross-platform everywhere. So again, a big shout out to the team of Pieces. And again, it's free, so there is no money involved for you. It's all good. I'm super impressed by the product itself. This is such an amazing one. I'll be testing it more and definitely will be sharing more videos of it. What all the boundaries I'm trying to push with this tool. So hope you've enjoyed this. If you've enjoyed this, do let me know in the comment section. I'll bring in more such hack videos where it will improve your life a little. That's it for this one. Let's catch up in the next one.